Hey guys, today we're gonna to be making a bed cover for this 2002 S10 step side. Um, materials you're gonna need is, well, what I'm using is half inch birch, um, four by eight sheet here. I got three sections of angle, one inch by 116 by 48. Uh, piano hinge, this one is uh, 48 inches long to fit right here in the back, which is like almost a perfect fit, which will go on the inside. And then um, got two of these lashes you use for like windows or a small gate. Don't really like the idea of it as of now, but since this is just in the beginning stages, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then you need some vinyl or if you can fiberglass paint it, that's up to you. So where it sits right now, um, my bed is wider in the front and narrow in the rear. So you can't fit a four by eight sheet without having two corner gaps so if you noticed this piece of plywood is slightly angled and I already got my cut lines drawn because I figured it's better to have one added section instead of two small added sections which I could be wrong but you know it's only 30 bucks or $35 for this sheet of plywood so what I'm gonna do right now is make my first cuts which is that that line there and then this back line here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the angle to the side rails so I can get some better measurements and make sure this thing fits nice and flush. One thing I wanted to point out too, when you're making your measurements, for example, if you're using an S10, um, over time, certain things wear. So to give you an example, my tailgate here moves. Um, in and out now i think it'd be best in my opinion to make it go all the way out instead of in i mean that's roughly i don't know maybe half an inch or so of space that it moves back and forth so when i'm making my measurements i'm gonna make sure to pull the tailgate out as far as it goes because ideally you'd, you'd close your cover first lock it and then shut your tailgate and it'll still lock in this position but at least here if it doesn't lock you can still trim off another half inch or whatever until it does lock so keep that in mind so next part is the angle iron what i've decided to do is skip this section uh, not put angle iron there mostly because there's a little plastic screw right there which would be annoying to mess with trying to screw angle iron into that little back corner would also be annoying so I've decided to start my measurement here at this body line and take it all the way back to this tail light dome here, which is roughly 65 inches. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide the angle into two, two pieces, which is just uh, 24 inches. And what I'll do at this, this line right here, I'm going to move this angle once it's cut over about two inches uh, in case the wood ever starts to sag and I need to put support in because I'm not really sure how birch is going to hold up even if it's treated. So this piece will get moved over two inches and that's what that third piece of angle is uh, because what it, let's say you move it over two inches and this is just as an example. So let's just say it's there, okay? Two inches. Um, you still kind of have this gap here. So for that other angle piece, what I'll do is I'll take a measurement from here and two inches to here and cut it out and screw it out. So realistically, what you're looking at, you're looking at two, um, two supports that'll run from each side attached to the wood. So if it ever does sag, you can have the space to put your wood there. And then, you know, from the uh, extra angle iron you have left over, you just kind of figure you lower your angle bracket lower to, you know, for the wood to sit on and keep everything straight. So I'll go ahead and cut this first and mount it and uh, move on to the next step. All right, once you get your angle pieces cut to 24 inches or two feet, you're gonna go ahead and attach them to the side rails here. Uh, for screws, 
I'm just using the smallest self tappers I could find. And whatever you use, just make sure after you put it past this piece of metal that it doesn't penetrate and go through the other side. Not that it really matters because you have some more steel, like say this steel, for example, um, probably just goes like yay far. And there's probably like another one behind this, but you'll have enough because you use probably like three per angle which you know it's not gonna be that much weight on it it's just meant to rest all right now the angle has been installed um this setup is going to be like a flush mount style so everything will be leveled uh so those two pieces as like i said before are 24 inches this one was eight and three quarters the gap between here is three and three quarters to accommodate a two by four uh, originally in my mind i had thought that i would lay them in the vertical position instead of the um, flat position but it kind of seemed like it would hold up better in the flat position so if i end up using that i end up using it if not no big deal but here it is coming along and by the way that's the black vinyl we will use for this uh, cover which is actually another bed cover but we're going to repurpose it but yeah so now that this is done uh we can go ahead and put the wood on and trace it out cut it make it flush add the extra piece would be add, add the extra piece would be next and then getting it to sit flush with the tailgate will be the last thing to do and then we'll wrap it with vinyl all right so not the prettiest view but it's smooth um got a couple of little splinters there who cares it's attached with staples all right put some in the front one up here some down in here and wood glue so that wood glue is gonna dry um not one of my proudest fixes but you know there's not really much to do with this wood i even put some nails in here some finishing nails because I didn't want to split the wood. Um, sure, could have. Probably would be a good idea to drill some, countersink some holes, and probably put in some screws, which I actually think I will do that because even though this is strong, I want it to last. And there won't be as much tension on this end, I think, as it'll kind of be. Um, spread out but you know how things are and you don't want this thing to fuck up or um, and then you have to take it apart and redo it that would just suck so I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure this looks strong I am I'm okay with the staples because it won't show through the vinyl at least I don't think it will but um, we will I will do this add some more glue and then uh, start working on the hinge mechanism the hinge was screwed all the way on I think I saw that just now and went ahead and screwed all of those other ones on on the board and I should have recorded it but it probably only went like that high which is fine because um, most covers don't even go that high anyways so uh, what I did notice though using the screws provided it did go past the wood about i don't know a millimeter so took all the screws off brought it in here put all the screws back on and i took a grinder and just grinded it kind of flush with the um wood so i wouldn't have any issues um and then as far as this vinyl top goes unfortunately it's not long enough look like we're two inches three inches short so what i'm gonna do since i don't really have any use for it and all the other parts are broken i'm going to go ahead and lay it out trim it to the best of my ability and then overlay another piece of vinyl i think towards the end it shouldn't look too bad but this process is fairly simple i believe you just uh you spray your adhesive on lay it in there and uh try to iron all the wrinkles out staple the edges or the bottom piece the, the underside where you can't see it and uh yeah that's actually just about it so 
I'm going to go ahead and start this. Um, and as far as the underside, I don't think this will be or have any issue being bare wood like this. Um, my only concern is that if I were to put some type of like wood uh, filler to this, that the glue would not adhere the way it should. So what I'm thinking is I'll wrap it, you know, I'll wrap the corners and then I'll, um, what I'm going to do actually first is I'm going to staple the corners in just to make sure it still fits pretty snug, which it should. And, uh, then I think what I'm going to do is silicone the edges on the underside as I'm stapling them and that'll kind of give me like a watertight seal. And then the, everything else will be on the other side. We'll have that, um, deck coating, you know, just something to keep it from rotting. Hopefully that works out. Okay. I don't see it. I don't see it having any problems. So. Once I get this trimmed up, I'll start recording again so you can see the progress. All right, so this is what the bed cover looks like on. I do know it has wrinkles up there and stuff like that. Um, kind of not happy with it, but you know, couldn't get the wrinkles out, couldn't get the glue to set right. So that's why I put a million staples. The only other thing is I'm having a problem on this side of the vinyl sticking up just a bit or not the vinyl, the wood, because I didn't account for this side. There's a look at that plastic nut over here and it's catching on that. So once I uh, finish the latch system on here before securing it all together, um, come on, focus. Doesn't want to focus, see that? What the hell? Okay, once uh, finishing the latch, I'll uh, be able to have a better control of it. I think anyway so this is how it sits though you can kind of see the hinge or you can still see some staples back there and stuff which is not a big deal um, but once this seam right here completely dries I put some just some epoxy hoping that's good enough um, it should hopefully hold if I end up not liking this in the future I will do a part two video of using fiberglass and paint which is kind of what i wanted originally but uh, i just kind of wanted to try this out first because it's what i had i spent a lot of money on the fiberglass and then the red paint's not exactly cheap either so once it's um once the latch is in i'll show you that and hopefully i come up with a fix on this it's not that big of a deal but to me it is so give you one more view um, so the latch would be next, that issue over there, and then I'll go about maybe putting some weather stripping on it. So, yep. This is a bed cover about 95% done. This is probably about how high I would take it just due to the hinges hitting the back. Or the wood, I'm sorry, the wood hitting the back of this middle piece back here. Um, I do intend on adding probably a... Uh, pneumatic shock right there um and here's what i use for locking it you know just your traditional gate lock and it will latch on to here i don't know if i will use the other pieces that come with it i might do that in the future just kind of countersink some holes and just line it up it's pretty self-explanatory um yeah, this is it. And shutting it's kind of a little tricky. But I won't shut it all the way, but you know, it's not a bad view. Kind of get the good idea of how it sits on here. Guys, this is the final product. Um, I was in the process of installing the hood strut, but, uh, for now, I think I'm gonna need two and only have one. And it's used, so it's not as strong as it should be. Uh, this obviously covers dirty, so don't let that sway your opinions. I really am liking 
this little gray stitching here. I feel like that makes it look like almost OEM. But uh, the only thing I didn't like is the where I had to join these extra two pieces just because I didn't have enough material. If you were going to do this, I'd say the only thing to do differently is to make sure you have the proper amount of material. After you cut your pieces, after you cut your original plywood, I would try to uh, maybe give yourself about an eighth inch gap because you can see right now it fits, but it's very snug. And who knows, you might want that. But I say right now, I don't like it just because it's kind of a pain in the ass. And for this edge over here, you know, trying to make it a flush cover, it's really difficult to do that. And it might put stress on the hinge on the inside, so that's something to think about. Um, as far as the locking mechanism goes, it's nothing fancy. It's just your run of the mill door lock, like I said before. I will probably end up putting those little latches on there just because I know it will give it some resistance. Uh, as far as, like, loose, I don't really see it coming loose. Um, and even if it does, it won't be enough to like pick it up because, you know, we have that, uh, we shouldn't have any up force. We shouldn't have down force of anything, if that makes any sense. But both sides are the same. So you have to open it or you have to unlock it from the inside. So if you really want to store something back here, you could, um, but it's not completely unlockable or, um, yeah, it's not, um, it won't like protect all your belongings unless you buy the lock, uh, set up for your tailgate, which, you know, um, that's another install, but uh, I think it's well worth it. Um, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. If I don't like the vinyl in the future, which I can tell you right now, this is already driving me nuts. But if the epoxy holds up okay, maybe I'll let it go. Who knows? Um, but if not, what I will do is I'll make a second video on epoxy in this piece until, um, or epoxying it and painting it the same color. The only reason I did this is because uh, the fire glass is kind of high for this amount of coverage. And then the red paint is even more expensive. Now on top of that, I do plan on changing the color of this truck. Maybe a little brighter red. By just keeping the red itself. Um, and that goes. And then maybe in the future, the bottom is bare. Um, I will eventually put something on there. I don't really know what. Uh, I do have some coating um, I can put on there. But... Until then, I just want to see how this vinyl holds up. Uh, anything else that I would have done differently? Um, probably the only, like the biggest thing to me, the biggest two things I would say, and just recapping on it, is when you cut your pieces, make sure you give yourself maybe, like I said, an eighth inch of room on each side. That way you don't have any issues with the vinyl and the only other thing is the material if you can find some that covers your whole piece great if not go ahead spend the money and buy it in this just in this alone um with just the materials i have something like 70 dollars into it um so it's not a bad not a bad price but yeah, you can see it looks, it don't look too bad. I do plan on adding a wing just because I kind of want this to be flush anyways. And I've always wanted a wing on here anyways. Just a small one, nothing like too fast too furious. But just, um, you know, just something kind of to stick out like this. Uh, you know, a little Houston street, street scene kind of style. So, but yeah, this is the... Uh, wing i mean this is the uh cover and uh i'm pretty happy with it once it's washed up i don't think we'll have any problem uh in the future if i get enough response i will post an update on uh, a few months down the road to see how this thing is held up whether the wood is expanded or not um yeah so thumbs up if you like it uh comment all that good stuff
Thanks.